three men can do as much work as five boys and the wages of three boys are equal to those of two men. A work on which 40 boys and 15 men are employed takes eight weeks and costs rupees 15,750. How long would it take if 20 boys and 20 men were employed and how much would it cost? So there are two parts in the question. One is about the number of days and the second is about the cost. So he says three men can do as much work as five boys. Five boys. So basically if you say each man's capacity is M, so capacity of three men is equal to the capacity of five boys. Let us assume each boy's capacity is B. So the capacity of three men equals to five boys. Let us only work on the uh, um, number of days first. Forget about wages and all that. Now a work on which 40 boys and 15 men are employed takes eight weeks. Again, forget about the cost. Cost would be 15,750. How long would it take if 20 boys and 20 men were employed? And how much would it cost? We'll do later. So we are only focusing on one part of the question, which says three men can do as much work as five boys. A work on which 40 boys and 15 men are employed takes eight weeks. So how long would it take if 20 boys and 20 men were employed? How do we do this? You know that total work is equal to men in two days or persons in two days. So he says 40 boys and 15 men takes eight weeks. So 40 boys plus 15 men, right? This is the total number of persons into how many days? Eight weeks, right? Let us assume that, I mean, we are solving the question in terms of number of weeks, right? So eight weeks, it's not eight days, it is eight weeks. So total work is number of persons into time. It can be time, can be in days, weeks, hours, seconds, minutes, whatever format. So this is the actual case. 40 boys and 15 men can do the work in eight weeks. How long would it take if 20 boys and 20 men were employed? So what is the number of days required if 20 boys and 20 men are employed? So the same work has to be done by 20 boys and 20 men. How much time would it take? Let us assume T, the time taken is T. Now you already know that 3 men equals to 5 boys. So replace. See, if, uh, I mean, in both the cases, I think it would be easier to replace boys with men. Because in, in both the cases, boys are multiples of 5. Yes or no? See. I mean, for us to use this equation here, either boys should be multiples of 5 or men should be multiple of 3. So men are multiple of 3 in the first part, but not in the second part. So it will be a little complex that way. So better substitute boys in terms of men. So if 5 boys are 3 men, 40 boys will be equal to 24 men. So it's like into 8 on both the sides. 5 into 8 is 40. So 3 into 8 is 24. So I can say 40 boys is nothing but 24 men. Similarly, 5 boys are 3 men. So 20 boys will be 12 men. Or if 40 boys are 24 men, 20 boys will be equal to 12 men. Anyway, you'll get the same value, right? 5 into 4, 20. So 3 into 4, 12. So 20 boys can be replaced with 12 men. So basically, now the question says 24 plus 15. How much is 24 plus 15? 39. 39 men can do the work in 8 weeks. Same work has to be done by 12 plus 20. 32 men. How much time would it take? Simplify now. M gets cancelled. 8 goes 4 times. So we can say the time required is 39 by 4. 39 by 4 weeks, remember. Right? This is 8 weeks. So here also the time would be weeks. 39 by 4 weeks. Or this can be taken as what? Uh, 36 by 4 is 9. 9, 3 by 4 weeks. Or if you want to convert into days, you can do that also. How much? How, uh, what will you get? I think approximately you will get 68 point something. Right? 68, 69 days. Approximately 69 days. So 9 3 by 4 weeks is the answer. I mean for the time. How much time will it take? 9 3 by 4 weeks. Or 39 by 4 weeks. You get it? So the time part of the question is solved. Now what you can do is. <coughs> of course in the exam we have options. So look at the options. If there is only one option which has got 9 3, 9, 3 by 4 weeks. That's your answer. You get it? If there is only one option which has got 9 3 by 4 weeks. That is an answer. Otherwise you will have to. Uh, I mean if there are multiple options. Then you will have to work on the cost aspect. Okay. Now let us work on the cost. How do you work on the cost? This was about the time. Right? This side will work on the cost. How do you do the cost part of it? See, remember, now it says the wages of three boys. I am only looking at the remaining part of the question now. The wages of three boys are equal to those of two men. The wages of three boys are equal to those of two men. So whatever three boys get, that is equal to what the two men get. Wages of three boys, remember there is a wage equation. You know that people are paid based on their capacities. So what three boys get is equal, I mean usually it is based on capacity but here maybe they frame a different way of doing. So three boys will get as equal to what two men get. 
So basis of three boys equal to two men. Now, for T boys and 15 men can do a work in eight weeks and get 15,750. So how long would it take for 20 boys and 20 men to complete the work which you've already found? And how much would it cost? How much would it cost? How do you solve this now? See, you know that, uh, again, what you'll have to do is, uh, 40 boys and 15 men, they work for 8 weeks and they're paid 15,750. It is like this, 40 boys plus 15 men, they work for 8 weeks. And understand, this equation, the wage equation that we've written, gives you the, you know, wage ratio of each boy versus each man. So basically, we can say that, 3 boys equal to 2 men in terms of their earnings or 1 boy equals to 2 by 3 men in terms of his earnings or 1 man equals to 3 by 2 th you know 3 by 2 boys in terms of man's earning so basically this is about 1 man and 1 boy the wage ratio of 1 man versus 1 boy what happened here 40 and, and that is the per day earning again time is an important factor you cannot ignore time see when you are solving the question for time you have to ignore the cost when you are solving for a cost you cannot ignore the time so basically 40 boys and 15 men work for 8 weeks. They work for 8 weeks. See again, wage is not constant, right? I mean, you are getting the point. Why are we considering time? It's not that one boy will be paid 100 rupees. So whether he works for 2 days or 20 days, he will be paid 100 only. No. If he works for 2 days, he is paid 100 rupees. If he works for 20 days, he will be paid let's say 2000 rupees. Right? Time also is important. So, you know, why are you getting money? You are getting money for your capacity and for the time that you spend. So anyway, 40 boys and 15 men work for 8 weeks to get how much? 15,750. Now, 20 boys and 20 men. 20 boys plus 20 men. Work for how many weeks? This 39 by 4 weeks. Into 39 by 4 weeks. How much would they get? This will be directly proportional. Remember, this work. See, amount is paid for what? This amount, 15,700 is paid for what? The work done. So work done is calculated as what? 40 boys plus 15 men into 8 weeks. You will to follow. Because amount is paid for work, it is directly proportional. I mean, of course, you can say that when same work is done, the amount should also be same. But because there are different combinations, right? Here we have 40 boys and 15 men, here we have 20 boys and 20 men. So although the amount of work done is same, don't misunderstand that the you know total wages paid will also be same. The costing of the work depends on what type of people you employ. Are you able to follow? So you can take this proportionality to get the answer now. The only thing is you have to substitute again three boys in terms of two men in both the equations or two men in terms of three boys in both the equations and do the calculation. I would again once again like to explain you why the wages are changing. See, you may say that this is total work 40 boys plus 15 men into 8. This also is total work 20 boys plus 20 men into 39 by 4. So the total amount should be same because same work is being done. But the point guys is different type of people are working in both the cases. And they are working for different amounts of time. Right? Like for example, let's say that uh, a work can be done by one boy in five days. I am just giving an example. One boy can do a work in five days. The same work can be done by one man in let's say uh, three days. Right? Each boy says, I mean the boy says you have to pay me 20 rupees per day. The boy says you have to pay me 20 rupees per day. The man says you have to pay me 50 rupees per day. So if the boy has to be paid 20 rupees per day, in 5 days how much will I pay him? 100 rupees. And I'll get the work done. The man says you have to pay me 50 rupees per day. How much will I pay him in 3 days? 150 rupees. So the point is because they are charging differently, the amount paid is getting different. The amount paid for the work, for the same work is different. You're able to form. So something like that is happening here. Now you have to do the simplification. So what we will do is substitute uh, B equals to 2M by 3. B equals to 2M by 3 in both the cases. Right? Or substitute M equals to 3B by 2. Anyway, we will get the same answer. Right? Let's substitute M equals to 3B by 2. M equals to 3B by 2 in both the equations. So, what happens is 40 B plus 15 into 3B by 2 into 8 divided by 20B plus 20 into 3B by 2 into 39 by 4 equals to 15,750 by C. Let's say the cost is C. You have to do the simplification. C, B anyway gets cancelled. The whole idea is to, you know, convert this into one form. So, B gets cancelled. Now, do the simplification. So, 
So this is what, uh, I mean simplification, I don't have enough space here, you can do it yourself, right? So uh, this will become 2 into 40, 80, this will become, this, is, this gets cancelled 10 times, right? Now this will become 40, let's say. Where do I write it? I write the next step here. Okay, so this would imply what? See, uh, you know, multiplying 2 with the other parts, so 2 into 40, 80, 80 plus 45. Right, so 80 plus 45, 135. 135 into 8 divided by 2 into 20 is 40. 40 plus 20, uh, 40 plus this is 60. Yes or no? See, this is 45, this is 60, and 2 gets multi multiplied to the first term. So 80 plus 45 was 135 multiplied by 8. Here it is 40 plus 60, 100. Right? 40 plus 60, 100. 100 into 39. And by 4 goes into the numerator. Equals to 15,750. By C. Now solve for C from this. We get the answer. So how do you solve? <coughs> 1350. Yeah, I think you'll have to do an approximate calculation because you'll get the answers in decimal. So I need that part to you. It's like you know, uh, five goes how many times? 27 times. This is 20 times. Then this is three into nine. This is three into thirteen. This is 4 into 1, this is 4 into 5, right? And then do the calculation. So 9 into 8, 72, and 5 into 30, 65. So C will be equal to 15,750 into 65 by 72. Alright? So please do the calculation part and you'll get an answer. I mean, I don't have enough space and I don't want to waste our time here in, in doing the simplification. Simplifications you can do yourself. You should be able to understand this concept. This is important. This equation is important. This proportionality is important. Oh, I think, yeah, somebody had pointed out that I've committed a mistake here. For, I was thinking why is that getting so complex? 40 into 280 plus 45 is 125. I'm sorry. Okay, let me just quickly rework. I actually didn't want to do this calculation. I thought let me do one more step and leave it. So I'll do one thing, write the step again. So 80 plus 45, 125, 125 into 8 divided by, this is 40 plus 60, 100, 100 into 39 by 4, 100 into 39 into 4 equals to 15,750 divided by C. Now it's very easy, right? 25 into 5, 25 into 4, 4 and 4 gets cancelled. So you'll have 540 by 39. Simple. So C equals to 15,750 into 39 by 40. Right? So I mean very close to 15,750. The answer will be closer to 15,750 less than that. Right? So a little less than 15,750. Okay? Again, you can do the complete calculation. Check it yourself.